It seems every year certain things that we consider science fiction will become science fact. So with 2015 behind us and 2016 looming ahead, it's time to reflect on which technologies will be barging onto the scene and possibly impacting our everyday lives. Number 1. Consumer Robots Although robots are now common in industries like manufacturing, they have yet to become a presence in our own homes. There's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, most robots are still very clumsy, they have difficulties maneuvering around the house, and they usually can't climb stairs. Also, some of the robots are just downright creepy, especially the humanoid ones. But experts predict this year, as the year consumer robots will become mainstream. And if SoftBank's $1,600 smart bots pepper selling out in just 60 seconds last year is any indication, they might actually be right. For example, Jibo, a US designed robot which will sell for about $749, is a stationary articulated robot which can identify people and greet them, take photographs, surf the web, and carry out other communication tasks. Next, a new USB port. The USB port you have known is about to change. In 2015, the smaller, faster USB Type-C ports appeared in laptops like Apple's new MacBook and phones like Google's Nexus 6P. 2016 will be the year it also turns up in monitors, hard drives, and basically everything else. The USB Type-C is capable of two-way power, so one port on a laptop could be used to charge the battery and also connect to an external drive. This should result in fewer cores plus faster charging. And the bad thing, of course, is that we will eventually have to get rid of our collection of old USB cables, which to me at least is kind of sentimental. Because you know, these are cables that I basically carry around in my backpack everywhere I go. And they're fine, they're not broken, so throwing something that still works away from me is just kind of sad. Of course, I am the sentimental type towards USB cables. Number three, voice operated everything and virtual assistants. Nope, you're not paranoid. Your gadgets and electronics really could be listening. Voice operated electronics are about to make a huge leap in accuracy and intelligence in 2016. Talking offers a more natural and efficient way to interact with devices that need inputs but aren't exactly keyboard friendly, such as TVs, sound systems, and household electronics. In 2016, products like Apple Surrey, Google Now, Amazon. Alexa and Microsoft's Cortana will continue their steady march into our lives, especially as tech companies do more to connect the workplace with the home to appliances, electronics, mobile devices, and these always listening assistants. Soon we'll all be programming our microwaves with voice commands and getting cooking instructions from our future overlord, Surrey. Number four, wireless charging. Starbucks already has tables that charge devices wirelessly. IKEA has started shipping furniture that does the same. GM, Toyota, and Aldi have it in their cars and the wireless products that will become available over the next six months will be even more powerful and versatile. And you'll be seeing even more charging stations popping up at coffee shops, restaurants, airports, and bars. Number five, balloon internet. Having internet access is something we sometimes take for granted here in the developed world, but there's currently about four billion people on this planet, which is well over half the globe who don't have access to the internet. But bringing those remaining people online is not an easy task. Internet access requires infrastructure that's difficult to build in developing countries, so it can take years to bring it to underdeveloped parts of the world. But Google, in its attempt to find the next YouTube star, is bringing cheap wireless internet to remote regions of the world via a network of high-altitude balloons. This project is called Loon, and Google has managed to get the first balloons up and running in 2015 in places like Sri Lanka and India, and there's a lot more on the way for 2016. Number 6. Reusable Rocket in 2015, we finally figured out how to land a rocket. Aerospace companies have been trying to do this for decades, but 2015 was the year that a few of them finally pulled it off. Jeff Bezos and his Blue Origin team brought one back down from suborbital heights, and shortly thereafter, Elon Musk and SpaceX brought one back down from near the Earth's orbit. They didn't just do this for fun, because from this moment on, the cost of getting stuff into space will get lower and 
lower, which will have an enormous impact on just about every person on this planet. Cheaper access to space means more satellites, better telecommunication networks, more accurate weather predictions, and of course, space tourism. Number seven, the year of the drones. Despite an up and down year that ended with mandatory registration, drones are poised to fly even higher in 2016. This year, drones will practically be everywhere. Filmmaking, surveillance, and package delivery are all going to be impacted by them. The FAA is expected to roll out formal regulations for commercial drone use sometime in 2016. And as soon as that happens, the shipping industry will likely experience a major shift as a number of different companies, including Amazon, are already developing drone-based delivery solutions. Number eight, virtual reality. I don't know about you, but when I first saw Star Trek, I so wanted that hologram deck to be a real thing. And although we might not be seeing something as sophisticated as that anytime soon, virtual reality will be getting more real with the scheduled spring arrival of the long-anticipated Oculus Rift headset, followed by HTC's Vive and Sony's PlayStation VR. Advanced sensors and imaging and dedicated headsets promise immersive experiences that will make you feel like you're in a teleporter. Virtual reality will flood the entertainment and gaming industry first, but will slowly start creeping into other sectors like business offices and the healthcare industry, so you may be able to attend that business meeting or get a medical checkup without having to leave the house. And in the meantime, if you're a little tight on funds, you can actually play with this, this uh, Google Cardboard thing. It's actually pretty cool for something, you know, that's made out of cardboard. I got this when I went to VidCon last year and uh, I didn't try it until recently. You download an app, um, I'll have the link for you guys in the description box. So you run the app and you put your phone here and you look through this and you just run everything through this little cardboard thing. It's really cool. You can take virtual tours of uh, Rome and New York and Venice. This is actually really cool. When I look up, I can see higher up the Eiffel Tower. It's like I'm actually there. I mean, the only bad thing is the footage is not crystal clear, but once they fix that, I feel like this is really gonna be awesome because it really looks like I'm standing there and I'm looking at these sites that normally would cost me thousands of dollars to, to get to. So if I'm really low on funds where I wanna check out a place before I go there, this is really useful. Also, I wanted to include this one in this video as a bonus item. I mean, it won't really change your life, but I just find it really interesting. Check out this hoverboard. And this is a real hoverboard, unlike those two-wheeled exploding death traps that people are all going crazy for. This is the Arca board, a hoverboard from aeronautics company Arca Space Corporation. The Arca board can hover on just about any surface thanks to its 36 electric fans that produces 272 horsepower and can carry up to 243 pounds. Now, before you put this on your wish list, let me tell you about the flaws. First of all, uh, the board cost $19,900, just the board and the charging dock cost $4,500. So this is pretty much unaffordable for most people. Also, it can only float about three to six minutes depending on how much you weigh. And if you want to ride it again, you can, but only after the battery charges for about six hours. So. This is basically a $25,000 flying Lego that looks like it's super hard to balance and it will punish you by shutting off sooner if it thinks you need to lose weight. So I think I'm gonna stick with my like cardboard thingy here. <laughs> All right guys, thank you so much for watching. See you later.